there in this flash and action script 3 lesson I'm gonna knock out two birds with one stone we have two tutorial requests at develop PHP I'm gonna take care of both of them right now one is how to build and understand working with arrays and then the second one is making cool transition text effects and logo effects on text making sentences all through code nothing manual on the timeline and here's the finished product you can see I have nothing on stage it's all code look at that again pretty nice and you can thank Mazook and I forgot the name of the other member who requested the transition effects on the text okay here we are in the developphp.com forum in the request a tutorial section and we have a long time very active member of our site Mazuk who asks about using arrays and he says I sorta of kinda understand arrays I know what they do and how they operate but building one is a different story when would be a good time to use an array and what kind of applications use arrays and only use arrays a tutorial on arrays would be pretty friggin sweet I think anyways I hope I used the word arrays enough. Hey. <laughs> I think you did. And uh, this was uh, maybe a week ago. Uh, and so I, th I thought I'd tackle it for him since he's so active and he does a lot for the site and around the site. So I'm going to show you guys how to build an array, how to work with it. And uh, best of all, I'm going to knock out two birds with one stone and show you how to create cool uh, text animations through script scripted text animations okay here I am in flash CS3 and you can be in CS4 and this code will all still work and apply so let's click flash action script 3 file and I'm going to adjust my stage the way it looks change the background to black the size yours could be you know the size of a huge website or whatever you have going on uh, but I'm just gonna make mine the size I need it not too big maybe 124 high because I don't need very much just gonna display a cool text scripted text effect in there alright so when working with arrays and if you're inside of a movie clip or deep 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 into movie clips inside of your your movie then you can uh, you can put this in the timeline inside of any movie clip and use the positioning to have the line of text animate out any way you need it to. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is just name this AS3 because that's the only uh, layer that I'm going to need. I'm not going to have any physical elements placed on stage really. So open the actions panel by pressing F9. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is import the transitions needed the native transitions for making things move and that's uh, fltransitions.all and fltransitions.easing.all and these are necessary for the movements we're going to have on the text now the second thing I'm going to do is build the array now let's talk about, the, I'll show you a simple array structure and there's three types of arrays let me just press control V, there we go okay here's my array so I just claim a variable name of my array. The data type for this variable is array. <clears throat> ActionScript has several data types and array is one of them. There's string, integer, number, and array is also a data type. So you start your array like that and all you have to do is claim that the array is equal to this string. And what this string contains is it's uh, comma delimited or comma separated values so this is value 1, this is value 2 this is value 3 and this has a key index of 1 this has a key of 2 this has actually this has a key of 0 because all arrays by default start with a key index of 0 so this has key 0, key 1, key 2, key 3 and so on and so forth and this is value 0, this is value 1, value 2, value 3 and you can access arrays, keys and values to make programming a little more 
simple when it comes to reusing things that you've scripted out let's say if you tried to make a cool text effect with uh, manually on the timeline by putting out static text fields making them into movie clips or whatever and animating them into place and then say you wanted to change things up it might be a little difficult so this is a raise or a good method of processing many things as opposed to just one thing if that makes sense and this type of array is just a simple basic array and you can see it's just values there and there's also associative arrays and multi-dimensional arrays and if you guys want a tutorial on either of those associative or multi-dimensional just let me know and I'll bang it out for you it's nothing hard okay so let's move on here the next thing we need we're going to put into the script here is the formatting for how we want our text to look each one of these characters here in the array each one of these letters we also have spaces in there you'll notice they are going to be made into text objects and then thrown onto stage through code now the first thing we want to do is make sure we get the right format for those and now you can see what I've done is claimed a new text format object and it's going to be uh, have a variable variable name of my format so I can just use my format here to add properties to it so I add the color property the font property and the size property size is 36 my font is however you say that concilian and uh, my font color is going to be like, kinda like a darkish gray now Concilian is one of my custom fonts that let's see if you put out a text field type something in it you can see that's one of my custom fonts that doesn't come native on everybody's computer so what you might want to do is embed that font so go to embed whichever font you pick that's in your list and if it's a special font that not many people might have installed on their computer you might want to embed it so it shows correctly for no matter who's looking at it no matter what they have on their machine so you want uppercase lowercase numerals punctuation okay alrighty yeah let's just make that static st static text actually we don't even need it because it's embedded now okay we're gonna move a little quicker here we have uh, two sections coming up alright this next little section line 11 12 and 13 are simple variables that we created to hold numbers and those the X position Y position and offset hold these values these numbers it's that simple we're gonna use these in the script refer to them through their variable name that way we can access those numbers okay so next thing we have on line 15 starts a function and the functions name is trans complete and that stands for the transition being complete when each letter is thrown onto stage and does its little magical transition we want to listen to when it's complete and then do things accordingly and we'll discuss more about that in the next function that has that piece of script in it so inside of this function we have one condition an if statement and the if statement is checking to see if my array the length of it is greater than zero if the length of my array is greater than zero we're gonna run a function called place letters let's get that function now and explain it to you okay I have my function here let's pop it in okay so it starts at line 21 and so if the array length is greater than zero we run this function to place letters here's the function place letters inside of it first thing we do is we create a text field and this is the standard way of creating any old text field in flash through script okay so after we create the text field instance it's not on stage yet but we've created the object next line is using a function that is native to action script called shift and it's made for working with arrays and what shift does is it pops or it grabs it actually removes the first part of an array the first value or the first key index and its value which would be B in this case 
So what's going to happen is when that function runs the first time, place letters, when that runs the first time, it's going to cut the first letter off of there and it's going to use it. So what happens is we say text field dot text which we're putting into the text field that B because we use my array dot shift we pluck that B right off and we pop it into the text field for display so now the text field has a value of B so now and the next time this function runs it'll have a value of A then the lowercase D then the space then the uppercase A you see how it goes and this function is going to run over and over and over till it gets to the very end of your sentence or your word and then it stops and that's how it works it's beautiful so uh, where are we line 25 text field dot set text format my format that's very simple we apply the format that we created for our text field up here to the text field not much to be said about that and var clip movie clip is creating a new movie clip object with the name of clip now we have a new movie clip object and we can add properties to that so we add child well first we add child to it the text field we place the text field and its letter value inside and the, the formatting and everything inside of the uh, the movie clip name clip then we say clip has an X position of expose which is our number here which can be anything you need play around those numbers and see what they do and then uh, the Y pose same thing so it gets placed on stage at that position now the first letter that gets placed is going to be this position 12 and 24 the next letter that gets placed has to have the offset applied to it or it'll stack right on top of the B You'll have all your letters stacked right on top of one another if you don't offset it. So you place the offset value, whatever you want, whatever spacing you want between each letter. Each letter is going to be a movie clip, remember. Okay, so you can place them wherever you need to using the little X and Y properties of that object. Okay, so the next thing we do is add child, the movie clip, to stage. At this point, it gets placed on the stage, but before it can really even get noticed, within a, a super millisecond this transition runs on it now let me explain this transition okay so to get the transition to work on each little letter in the sentence to give it a typing effect or a zoomy effect or a flashy effect whatever kind of transition or easing effect that you want to use can be applied here so you can listen to the complete event for the easing or the transition manager effects so I'm gonna just show you the transition manner of manager effect techniques and if you need to see more uh, methods of using the transition manager you can go to develop PHP in the flash tabs the animation section in the flash uh, uh, tutorial category the animation section we have a, a tutorial all about the transition managers and uh, scripting transition effects okay so what we do here is we claim a new object transition manager and inside when we claim it we give it an argument of clip and clip being the movie clip object here that we just created and added the text to that's formatted with our cool format and when we put it into uh, the transition manager and what the transition manager will do is snatch it up at that very moment when we add the clip to stage the transition manager will snatch it up and do the effect on it so right here you can claim I'm using two effects I'm using photo and zoom to make a more dynamic effect you can use as many as you want together or just use one so here's the two transitions that I'm using and I'm not gonna go very in-depth about it because you can do further research into the transition manager class it'll show you all about it and everything you can use and all these values you can change so for the sake of time and uh, basically time uh, I'm not gonna discuss everything you can change that to we'll just show you the cool effect and then you can get intrigued about it and do your own research sounds good so here in line 35 after we claim the transition they run actually they at this very when these lines execute the transition happens 
So what we want to do is listen for the transition complete event. And to do that with the transition manager, we just say transition manager, which is the variable we named for our transition manager. Add event listener. All transitions is done. In done. Trans complete. So trans complete is the function that we want to fire off when this when this particular piece of text has flown down into position. Trans complete function is this one here that we claimed at the very beginning, the one that listens to see if the array's length is greater than zero, and then it runs this function. So these kind of these functions play off of each other and they boom 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 until the whole sentence is gone, the whole array has been plucked of all of its values. Once it's empty, this function can't run anymore because that condition won't meet. And then the whole application is done. So let's see what we get. Let's press control enter. Oh, I forgot one thing. <laughs> Very important thing. You have to make it fire off the first time manually. So place, well not manually, but through script. Place letters, run that function. That's how you execute a function right there. Any custom functions you made, like this one that I've made, that's how you execute them. That's why we didn't see anything. Press Control Enter. So the first time it runs, this makes it run. But each following time, the the functions play off of each bounce back off of each other. So let's press control enter. There we have it. That is beautiful. All scripted, nothing on stage. Raise your frame rate to thirty and then press control enter. You'll see a nicer effect. See that? Now you can change all of these values to whatever you like. You can see I have the speed at point three. If I changed it to one and this tool one, you'll see it work much much slower. See? It's got a more bouncy effect. The little photos flash is taking a little longer on it. You might want that slowness on it, I don't know. I like the speed of point three for making a little sentence. Pew, pew, pew. Really catch the user's eye. Okay, I'll have this source file available at develop PHP under animations and under the flash tab, flash action script 3 under animations. Okay, we'll see you next lesson.